In this video, we are going to have a look at uh, how to create this particle effects as you can see on the screen, this kind of particle effects on your web page or, or your website. So we are going to explore a particle.js JavaScript library, which is lightweight JavaScript library, which, you, which enables a web developer to create this cool particle effects on their web page or a website. So we are going to use this particle.js library and explore a little bit this JavaScript library. So we are going to visit this GitHub repository of particle.js so this is the github repository of particles.js uh, we are going to use these files in this video some of these files and below this you will find this json uh, json file where you will find various objects in over here which you can modify as per the use and over here various other options are there you can explore as per the convenience of the web developer uh, you can change the shape of the particles whether they are one circle or triangle or polygon or star also even the images also uh, so you can explore this github repository and use it as per the convenience and usage so what we are gonna do is first of all what I'm gonna do is uh, just uh, download we are gonna use these two files in this we don't want all that files we are gonna use this particles.js and inside this demo you can go in js folder and app.js so we are gonna use these two files that is particles.js and app.js so I have downloaded in my folder I have created this folder on my desktop uh, and I have uh, downloaded this app.js file and particles.js file and this index.html it's a basic website template it just we are gonna add some code in this to create our web page and this is the app.js file that we have downloaded and this is the particles.js so we are not gonna change this particles.js and in the app.js we are gonna explore little bit things as per the github repository so we are gonna change some of the shapes and styles over here so right now do I just close this and just continue editing our index.html so over here what I will do is just give a background color to my web page so I will just add style to it style so I want background color to be uh, red so background color is red so I have added this background color just save this and let's see how does it looks this plugin is not working man just open this one what I will do is it's not working so I will open I just press shift right click open command window here so I'm just starting my live server uh, you can uh, install a live server by this command if you have node.js installed install minus g for global installation and just you can execute this command to install a live server which you can use in various other projects also I have installed it so I will not install it but you can use this command and just after installing you can just start this server live server so I have started this live server on my desktop in the particle folder uh, where we are performing this project so after starting you can see our server has started at this uh, location so you can visit this location so uh, yes you can see over here in the URL tab uh, our server has started over here so whatever changes we are gonna make in this project that is in the particles folder it's gonna refresh the, in the web browser so we don't need to press reload and reload our web file continuously it will automatically refresh the page so the background color has been set so what we are gonna do is now I'm gonna create uh, some uh, uh, the import descriptor JavaScript files over here so source equals particles dot js and app.js so we are gonna import these two files so particles.js and app.js just save this and uh, what I will do is just create another tag div 
uh, with ID over here I will we need to pass the ID as you can open the app.js file over here you will find the ID this is the ID which is passed to the JS, this JSON file JSON object so over here this ID is particles that J, uh, dash JS so you can change this uh, but right now we are gonna use this only you can change this if you want so we are gonna use this particles that JS and just save this and you can see in the command prompt save this you can see the change detected over here and just in the browser uh, the change has been made in the following URL this is our live server which is running uh, and we have installed that live server using node.js so you can see the particles over here so these are stars so in the app.js uh, first of all we can go to github repository in the back to back just go back one more over here just scroll down we will explore a little bit over here so just change it to triangle in the app.js over here shape so just change it to triangle just save this and you can see we have not hit a reload as we are running on a server the triangle is being displayed the changes have been made automatically so just change it to suppose age save this go back to browser you can see the ages has been displayed so you can use this particle.js library as per your usage uh, so I hope you have got a clear understanding of how to use this library in your web page or in your project for websites So if you like this video do share it with your friends and thanks for watching this video subscribe to my channel and Till then take care. Thanks a lot